five youths were arrested at 96th Street, all between 14 and 15 years of age. They got him! I don't know these, these guys that's, that's there, so I'm just gonna make up something and, and include these guys' names. Okay. If if you know if you're gonna do it to me, then I'm gonna do it to you. Being 14 years old at the time, being naive and not knowing the system, not knowing the law, that was my first experience ever. When you're in the presence of authority figures, you know, and you're in there for over 15 to 20 hours of questioning, you know, um, it's only a matter of time before you break down. The Central Park Five is a very interesting case. Uh, five young men were uh, accused uh, by police officers of committing a horrendous crime, a rape. None of them did it but they all confessed to it. You have to ask yourself, why? What were the psychological circumstances brought to bear on these juveniles to do this? Answering that question was the focus of a recent conference held at the Suffolk University Law School in Boston. The conference showcased the acclaimed documentary, The Central Park Five, its subjects, and its creators. We hope that this can really start a conversation about how this sort of thing happens. So. Why do false confessions happen? What makes juveniles vulnerable? What can we do to protect people and try to prevent this sort of thing from happening in the future? I hope that's what people come away from this talking about. We're just beginning to realize how often people actually do confess to things they don't do just to make the interrogator stop. Researchers already know that those most vulnerable to giving forced confessions are adolescents, the intellectually disabled, or the mentally ill and that they are most likely to crumble under police tactics, including long interrogation times and presentation of false evidence. They used the good cop, bad cop uh, tactic on me. You know, they lied, gave me false promises, and said that I'd be able to go home if I cooperated. They fed me what they thought were the facts, which was all wrong. Miranda's an important component, but a lot of people don't understand the Miranda warnings. As a 14 year old, you don't know what that is. You have no idea when they tell you, you know, you can get a lawyer. You know, you're thinking, for what, I didn't do anything wrong, so I don't need a lawyer. Experts say that when a forced confession happens, the effects can last a lifetime. They were not exonerated after we all saw the coercive video in the film. It really took DNA evidence and years of them languishing in prison. And even when the DNA came out and it proved that we were innocent, you know, people still hold on to that theory because of those confessions. Central Park Five are suing New York's police and prosecutors for $250 million. That lawsuit is now a decade old and there's no resolution in sight. From Boston, this is Lisa Riley reporting for the Lawyers.com channel.